Today I would like to talk about the uh, Semyon AF 85mm 1.4 for the Canon RF mount. This video is shot on the Semyon RF 85mm 1.4. Um, I'm using it on my Canon EOS R6. There's one thing you have to know before you buy this lens for the Canon EOS R5 and EOS R6. Out of the box this lens does not support IBIS or uh, in-body image stabilization. It comes standard with version 1.0 of the firmware. In version 3.0 they fixed this and it does support IBIS. The problem is uh, when you buy it, it doesn't have firmware 3.0, it has firmware 1.0. I bought this lens uh, a few weeks ago. It's the end of December now, I think I bought it around the 10th of December. And the firmware 3.0 came out at 20 October. So that's almost two months later and it's still not on the lens when you buy it. This could be an old batch. Maybe the new batch they send out, they have the firmware. Another problem is, it's really hard to find what kind of firmware is on the lens. Um, one way to find out is to see if in the menu on the camera, if the uh, IBIS is supported. If it's not supported, then it's an old version. And the only other way to see it is to mount it to the lens adapter and then use the Samyang software to see which version is on the lens. The problem is you cannot update these lenses uh, through the camera because they're not from Canon, they're from Samyang. So you have to buy this lens station so you can update the software. You cannot send it to Samyang. Uh, they, don't, they don't have this kind of support. And the problem is this thing is not cheap. It's 80 euros over here. It's really hard to find. Uh, I ordered it on Amazon. Over here I cannot find it in the local shops. So one little tip before you buy this lens. It's quite cheap but keep in mind that um, if you want to update it to support IBIS it's going to cost you some extra money. In the next video I will show the difference between version 1 and version 3 of the firmware. Version 2 is not available for me anymore. So I can use firmware 1 that's on the lens and after that I will update it to firmware 3 and you will see the difference between the firmwares. Uh, if you have any questions leave them in the comments below. See you in the next video.